Okay. Unless that means your inventory is full or something along those lines. Oh, who knows? I'll check it out soon. A lot of assault rifle ammo dropping. Indeed. Try out this pistol then. Oh, I have to be level seven. That's why. Oh yeah, you guys are still level four. I just dinged level five, so I get Bloodwing now. Remember that, boss? Oh yeah, Bloodwing. Yep. The stupid ass bird that Dan and I both hated. <laughs> yeah. Well now. Because I'm playing as Mordecai now. Uh, he's probably the most overpowered ability in the whole damn game. See, I remember, Dan, when you were saying to me that, um, oh, like we were taking a look at the different characters in this game, and you were telling me when you did some internet research that everyone was saying that he was a good character, but you really didn't like him. Yeah. I don't know, maybe I didn't play it for long enough because I was only like level. 14 or something. So maybe I didn't play him for long enough. I don't know. But... Yeah, Mordecai gets all kinds of cool stuff, like, uh, he, his bullets ignore shields completely. Huh. Oh! Yay, level up, now I can use my ability. And also, Bloodwing is just overpowered, like the most overpowered thing in the entire game. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. What does this ability do? Does it stop time? Oh no, it makes me invisible. invisible. Oh, okay. That's quite cool. You know why that is? It's because why? Lilith has the power of the Tatao. I'm guessing that was an ongoing joke in your Far Cry 3 play. Yeah. Then you have to play Far Cry 3. Hey? You have to play Far Cry 3. Do I? Yeah. Invisible! You get a move really. Oh, what? Oh, I have to melee, okay. I have to change my audio settings. Oh, yeah, you get health kits in this game now. Ah. Yeah, Dan, you'd really like it if you played it. I don't even know what it is. Bunch of friends get stranded on, well, you know, kind of get... Bunch of friends go on an island on a holiday. Turns out it's, like, one of the biggest cr drug and slave trafficking islands. Like, black market stuff. And your your friends have been taken captive, and you have to help them. And no. since the island has some tribe, tribal people, called... The Rakyat. Rakyat. And they're... Uh, crazy um, leader, Citrus Fruits. Get it? Because her name's Citra? I, I got it. Damn, that was easy. And I'm gonna pick up his gun, if, if you don't mind. Somebody help me out. Thank you. Well, yeah, that was the that was quick. Or Dan. Yeah, you could just wait for my playthrough coming out in February. I could do. But then, who would want to watch that? No one. Boing. And who'd want to wait until February, anyway? But I got it for free with my AMD card. I guess it's kind of like saying sorry for buying AMD. Here's yeah. a free game. <laughs> Another one bites the dust. 
But overall, I really enjoyed Far Cry 3. It does have a few problems on PC, which, Dan, if you played a Ubisoft game on PC, you would realize. It's really bad. Well, like, the FOV is the most messed up thing anyway. <laughs> because it's like your gun still takes up a large part of the screen, even though I have yes. it at like 100. And, like, isn't the max like 170? 110, I think it is. Well, like, Dan, imagine, right, if you played this, if you had this FOV, but the gun took up more space of the screen. Like, the gun practically takes up the whole of the screen. Mm. And then you use the FOV slider. And it doesn't make the gun any smaller. All it does is change the background. <laughs> that sounds great. Uh, guys, I'm waiting on you guys. Come on. And also, right, Dad, you have wingsuits and other stuff like that. But when you use them, the FOV gets really messed up. <laughs> like it really badly stretches everything. Yeah, and it's kind of like you're looking everything through like a magnifying glass, but using the side of it. You know what I mean? Basically, yeah, everything looks stretched and weird. Uh, and, um... What was the other... Oh, yeah, when you're driving vehicles. Now, the worst vehicle to drive is the quad bike. Because it looks like you have your hands on the handlebars, but then you put your face over the handlebars. Huh. Because of the FOV. Sounds great. Um, and another thing, right? You spend the whole game, like, trying to get this tattoo on your arm. But you can't even see any of the tattoo when you're using the... When you're in first person. Because of the FOV. So it's like, what's the point in getting this tattoo if I can't even see it? Uh, I, th as the tattoo grows, it's basically your skill points every time you level up. Yeah. So, like, every time you get a new skill point, you get a new piece of the tattoo. And yeah. But yeah, yeah, I don't think I'll be buying that game anytime soon. <laughs> no, otherwise it's a really fun game. Yeah, I mean, apart from the FOV, it's a brilliant game. It's got interesting villains like Hoyt, uh, Vass being, like, the person that takes the show away. They're all and then... bonkers, basically. Yep. I, I quite like Buck at the end. Yeah. Like, because he's like, oh, uh, he's a smart ass, but he has our friend, so we can't do much. I mean, the things that he says are just so funny as well. All right, let's let's use the skill point. What have we got here? I'm gonna try and be a more of a sniper. Hmm. I think I'm going to go down the blue skill tree. I've never played Lilith, so I couldn't say anything. Hmm. Oh, but. Hello? Angus? Diane? Uh, oh, another Skype connection problem. Okay. Hello? Ugh. Oh. <gasps> Catch a ride! <laughs> Let's do the catcher ride. Oh, we have to. Oh, apparently I didn't turn in. I don't. Maybe oh, no, I, I haven't either. Oh, it's over here. Oh, I don't know. I thought it turned in for everyone. That's what I thought. I don't think I've turned in any of these. <laughs> Catch a ride! Uh, oh, do we get to see Ellie? Do we get to see Ellie? No. Oh. Ellie's only Borderlands 2. Oh. 